All right, hey everyone. Today in this video we're going to be using differentials to approximate the value of a fourth root function. If you're not familiar with how differentials work or the uh, why we use the equation that we're about to use in order to arrive at our answer, go ahead and check out my video on the mathematical basis of uh, differentials and it, it will explain how they work. So we're not going to go over any of that right now. We're just going to uh, just do the work for this problem. So all right. Differentials. What are differentials? Differentials are a useful way to use calculus to approximate the value of points on really ugly functions. So for instance, today we are going to be evaluating the fourth root of 16.7. Yikes, that is ugly. So what can we do about that? Well, we know that we have this differential equation here that says to approximate a value, all we have to do is use this equation, that f of x is equivalent or roughly equivalent to f prime of a times x minus a plus f of a. All right, so x, a, what is this? What, are, what is our x and what is our a? Well, if you remember, our function is the fourth root of 16.7. So when doing differentials, the number underneath your function, that's going to just be your x. So we know that our x equals 16.7, and our a equals, well, what? Our a is going to equal a number that is really, really close to 16, as close as we can possibly get to 16, that has a really easy fourth root. Well, the obvious answer that jumps out to me is, why don't we just use 16? Because the fourth root of 16 is just 4, right? I'm not, sorry, not just 4, it's just 2, right? The square root of 16 is 4. And since the fourth root of 16 is 2, when we, go and, when we go and plug that into the equation as our a right here, and when we take f of a, it's going to be really, really easy because there's no complicated math. That's the beauty of using differentials is you're you know, going to be able to save yourself so much time by using values close by to approximate. So, the fourth root of 16 is 2, but the fourth root of 16 is not the same or really even all that close to the fourth root of 16.7. It's pretty close, but it's not close enough for our purposes. So that's why we have these values in the rest of the equation. That's why we're going to have our x here, and we're going to also have to evaluate f prime of a because we need to determine the slope of what this value is right here. We need to determine the slope of the tangent line against that value. So, all right, let's get started. We said that our x was 16.7 and that our a was um, uh, 16 and that the equation we were going to need to use is f prime, sorry not f prime, f of x is roughly equivalent to f prime of a x minus a plus f of a. Now when we say f of a what are we talking about? Well our original function was the fourth root of 16.7. So, let me write that a little bit better for us. It's the fourth root of 16.7. So, we know that this is just the fourth root of something. We're treating 16.7 like x, remember? So, we can just treat this like the function, the cube root of x. Now that we're treating it like that, we have our x and we can evaluate f of x. So since we're going to be able to treat it like that, we're just taking the fourth root of x here. And when we go in to find out what f of a is in this differential equation, we'll just be taking the fourth root of a. In that case, it's 16, which was our easy value that we picked on the previous slide over here. And we know that the fourth root of 16 is 2, so it's not going to be a difficult one to take. So, all right, what's our first step? f of x is almost equivalent to f prime of a, so we'll have to take the prime, and what that means is we're going to use this same equation right here. We're going to have to figure out what f prime of this initial equation was. So let's just take the fourth root of x and take the prime of that. Let's go to a new slide because we're not going to really have enough room here, and then we'll come back to this one. So we need the fourth root of x prime, well, using our derivative rules, we know that that is just simply this, the fourth root of x is simply saying x to the one-fourth, and that, the derivative of that is one-fourth x to the negative three-fourths, or just one over four to the fourth root of x cubed. So, we have these two values, these mean the same thing, whichever one you're going to want to end up plugging into your 
uh, eventual equation. So we've got that value. Let's go back here and do a little bit of erasing. Ah, no, let's just make a new slide here. Now, let's go ahead and start plugging in our values. We have f of x is roughly equivalent to f prime of 16, right? 16.7 minus 16, because this is our x minus a, plus f of 16. All right. All right, so next thing we do is we just evaluate this. You can use your calculator for that. It shouldn't be that difficult. We're using the prime equation here. When we're taking the f prime of 16, we're just putting 16 into the equation that we got when we took prime of our original equation, which was the fourth root of x. So we're putting in where we see x in either one of these equations, whichever one you want to use is up to you. We are just putting in the 16. And so with that, uh, combine, taking that prime and combining it with this, we're going to get uh, and combining it with this. Also, we're going to get 1 over 4 times 2 cubed times 7, let me write that a little bit better, times 7 over 10 plus 2. And this is all going to evaluate to 2 plus 7 over 320, which is roughly equal to, if we want to do a decimal approximation, 2.021. So 2.021 should be, if you check it in your calculator, and it is really close to what the 4th root of 16.7 is. And all we had to do was plug it into this differential equation, if we remember, was f of x is roughly equivalent to f prime of a, x minus a plus f of a. We found all of those values by priming the original equation and substituting x for the ugly value, and then we found a, which was a close value uh, to our original x, but one that we could more easily take the 4th root of, which was 16. Plugged all of that into our equation, just did the simple arithmetic, and was able to, uh, we were able to come up with uh, 2 plus 7 over 320, which gave us a good decimal approximation of 2.021 as being roughly equivalent to the fourth root of 16.7. All right, comment if you have any questions. Thanks again.